What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a batch file on Windows. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. Batch files are a great way to automate repetitive tasks and execute a series of commands with just one click. First, open up your Notepad application. Search for Notepad in your Start menu to open it up. Once open, write your batch file script. At the beginning of your script, you should include at echo off. This command tells the batch file to run without showing each command line in the window as it executes them, making the process cleaner. At the end of your script, add pause. This command keeps the command line window open after the script runs, allowing you to see every message or outputs from your commands. In the middle of these two commands, insert whatever commands you wish the batch file to execute. It could be anything from launching an application to running a cleanup script. Once your script is ready, it's time to save it as a batch file. Click on File at the top left and then select Save As. In the Save As type drop-down menu, make sure it's set to All Files. This is important because it allows you to change the file extension from the default .txt to .bat. Name your file with a .bat extension at the end. Choose your desired save location and then click Save. Now you've successfully created your batch file. To run it, simply navigate to where you saved the file and double-click it. If your script requires administrative privileges, right-click the batch file and select Run as Administrator. This might prompt a user account control window asking for permission to run the script, to which you should click Yes. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.